What's happening guys? Welcome to part three of the duck boat build. Today, we're gonna go ahead and start sanding. I was gonna do like a little sandblasting ordeal on it. I don't think I'm gonna do that now. I've got some, I think it's 60 grit sandpaper. It is some coarse stuff. I wanna see how that knocks this paint off. This is gonna be a job. We've got everything. I've actually, I've already got the boat vacuumed out right here. That's nice and clean. The only thing, the only thing I've got to do, which I mean, I ain't got to do it right now, but before we put down the uh, hydro tires, they've got like this, that old skateboard tape on there. They used it for grip on here. I'll probably just go ahead and pull it off. That shouldn't take too long. Um, then we're gonna, we're gonna start sanding down the boat, getting it ready for primer and paint. Uh, that's, I'm looking so forward to getting this boat painted, so forward kind of knock this, get some of this just get this green off the boat i'm hoping it's gonna come off good it only looks like there's a it only looks like there's a one coat like one coat of paint on this boat but we're gonna get the sander out like i said i've got all the sandpaper and we're gonna see how easy this is gonna be it's either gonna go good or gonna go bad and we really gonna have to work at getting this thing sanded down but uh let's get the skateboard tape off of here and let's get this boat sanded. Last little piece off here. If it would just quit tearing. There we go. All right, we got all that off. There's just one more other little seat to do. And then right back here, all that's off and let's get the sand. What we may end up doing and i think it's gonna work like i said i'm new to this stuff but it's the sander's getting it's getting it off but it's, it's more or less making it pretty smooth knocking some of that chip paint off once we get it sanded down real smooth like that i think if we go over maybe a couple coats of primer and then a couple coats of paint. I think that, that'll cover up this green. Like I said, I really just want to get everything smooth. So we got a lot of sanding left to do. That's for sure. So this is day two of the sanding. I got a little bit done that first day. I think on this episode, I'm going to do the sanding and the painting all in the same episode. Uh, Maybe like a little time lapse of the sanding. But we're going to... What you doing over there, boy? So I'm going, we're going, I got Burley here. He just showed up. We're going to go ahead, get this boat nice and smooth. We're going to get it ready for paint. And then here, maybe a week or so, we're going to try to, we're going to try to get this thing painted up. <laughs>
off nowhere. Having to grind them off with a steel, like almost a steel wheel on the uh, on the drill. Guys, today is gonna be a good day. Today is the day that we're gonna go paint the duck boat. We finally got all that sanding done. I actually went and primed it yesterday. We're at, um, I got some flooring put in it. Well, we got we got the foam underneath the floor. Then we got the deck reattached, and we just went ahead and put the floor on last night and ran some wiring. We was up until about midnight doing that, but I, I was gonna video it, but I just didn't. It is what it is. I'm waiting on Burley to get here. When he gets here, we're gonna jump in the truck. We're gonna go to Joe's shop. And the day has finally come to where we get to paint this duck boat and get it looking right. Now, I don't know if we're gonna get to the stenciling and the cam on today. Depends on, it depends on how long it's gonna take to dry, honestly. But if we can get to it, we will. If not, uh, might just make that another little episode on it. But So let's wait on Burley and let's finally go paint a duck boat. Working on about the second to third coat on the boat. I ain't gonna lie to you, that little $30 paint gun that I got from Harbor Freight, I ain't never used one before, but it is working freaking amazing on this. And I will show you, we are using, it's called Duralax, it's a duck boat drab. That's an Amazon special. Read the review, said it was good, said it was a durable paint, so we gonna get about, we gonna get at least three coats, maybe four. And we're gonna see how durable it is, but it's coming along, it's coming along a whole lot better than what I thought. guys it's dark now um we've got the boat painted for the most part we still got some uh stenciling to do on it i was gonna get back with you later once we got it done we had a lot going on today and i wasn't able to so here we are at 10 o'clock at night and i'm telling you more about the boat but as you can see we have got her painted let me turn on 
Let me turn on another light, see if we can see it a little bit better. Like I said, we've got we've got the whole part painted. We didn't paint this part, the front deck, the floor right here, back here, or like any of these benches right here. On the benches, you know that we're gonna put the hydro turf, all that fun stuff. So we didn't we didn't worry about doing that. We've hit the whole side right there. Oh boy, she's looking good. Other sides like that, we did we did end up doing uh, tree bark stenciling up here so we could get it on the trailer. I don't think I'm gonna add any more camo up there. But uh, then back here, this was kind of the trial run. We've got the camo on the back of the boat. It's not great, I know. It's really my first stencil job on the boat and I'm pretty happy with it. We're gonna be adding other stencils, so we might be able to cover up some imperfections that I've got on this. Guys, it, it's coming along. I really, really am enjoying this little boat. It's, uh, this is a fun project. I ain't gonna lie to you. The, the gun I was using, it's like, man, it was only like a little $30 Harbor Freight gun, little uh, spray gun. It worked. I ain't got no complaints with it. If y'all were, if you're watching this and you're thinking about restoring a boat or redoing a boat, you need to paint. Go to Harbor Freight, get one of their uh, paint guns. They work awesome, especially for this. It's not, like I said, it's no professional paint job, but they ain't, not took my own horn, but it, it looks good. But guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you're new, be sure to hit that subscribe button for me. Uh, leave a like, leave a comment. Again, let us know what else we can do to this boat. I want to make this one of the baddest little 1448 John boats that this around. On the next few episodes, like I said, we've got hydro turf, lights, stereo, motor, all sorts of fun stuff. It's about to be done to this boat. The sanding and the painting's over with. The I'm gonna say the hard part, the more time consuming part, but this boat build is about to get really good. But thanks for watching, and until next time, we'll see you.